Hello, welcome back to Adore Beauty's YouTube channel. My name's Chloe and this is Beauty Writer Roundup. Today, I'm going to be highlighting some hair care mistakes that you might be making. So the key to healthy looking hair is just protecting your hair against anything that may damage it. I feel like we can rely so much on the treatments and the masks and the serums, but the best way to keep your hair looking lush, healthy, alive is by preventing damage. I know we can be a bit rough with the towels on our hair, you know, when it's wet, you're out of the shower and you're really wringing it out and like scruffing your hair. That can actually cause a bit of breakage. Your hair is at its most vulnerable state when it is wet. So what you can do is I found that if I have a lighter towel, like just a little, you know, those gym towels that you get? Yeah, gym towels or even a t-shirt, like it just encourages you to be a bit more gentle with your hair. Tying your hair up too tight may cause damage to the hair follicle. I feel like everyone has gone through that stage in their life where they've tied it up too tight, whether it be for school, for work, for exercise, it just happens. But you can try using scrunchies or you know those invisible bobby, the springy things like Maddie, you can do that. Yeah. The next mistake is being a bit too violent with the hair while brushing. When you brush your hair, it's best to start from the ends of your hair working your way up. That way you're loosening the knots gently and kind of going up instead of just brushing it down and condensing the knots, like turning tangles into knots. You're basically just ripping your hair off. The next one is quite important. And before someone pointed this out to me, I would just do it. You don't think twice about it. You know your bag straps, how you pop it over your shoulder? If your hair is underneath and it's constantly tugging at your hair, it's going to damage your hair. It's going to rip your hair apart. So just move your hair, put it over to the side and... Not using heat protectant. If you're applying heat onto your hair, you should be protecting it. I like to use a Purology 10 color fanatic, 10, 21 in one or something. Like yeah, it's got a lot of uses. Yeah, it has a lot of uses. I have like a Beauty IQ article on it, so. Like we protect our skin, it is important to protect our hair as well. My hair is actually not naturally red, it's brown. <gasps> Surprise! I know. <laughs> And I remember when I used to rock black hair, by the end of the summer, it'd be more of a brown. And you know how like brunettes, they have a little bit of like a naturally like ombre section. So that's because the UV in the sunlight oxidizes the melanin in your hair. So it takes away the pigment. I always, always bring my Purology Color Fanatic. I bring it to the beach with me. I bring, I spray it before I go out. She's just a part of my sun protecting routine. Or you can wear a hat and stay in the shade. I think that's the better way to do things. The next tip is not applying conditioner or treatments or masks directly onto your scalp or near the roots. All my treatments and masks I apply from mid length, like here to the ends. That's where most of our damage is because this is like new baby hairs, you know? Applying conditioner or mask or treatments to the roots of your hair might make it look a bit more oily and weigh it down too. The next hot tip is always double cleanse your hair. Like we double cleanse our face, it's important that we do the same with our scalp. So the first cleanse is to wash away any buildup, so any dry shampoos, any products, any mousse that you have in your hair. And the second cleanse to kind of give the scalp the deep cleanse that it needs. Like if your shampoo has any actives in it, I know some shampoos have BHA for the oily gals. This allows for the actives to penetrate into the scalp, you know, it creates a nice clear pathway. A little hot hack I have is I use my more budget -free friendly shampoos first and then I use my more bougie items so it feels like my bougie items are really getting into my skin. Not focusing on scalp health. A lot of people neglect their scalp health. We take care of the skin on our face so it makes sense that we take care of the skin on our scalp as well, right? So there are a few serums that you can use. Um, I know the Ordinary have two. They have one for hair density, the peptide one, and then one with hyaluronic acid for just just nurturing your scalp. Your scalp needs that love. And Kerastase have a few actually. They have my favorite one. It's a blue bottle. It's a Kerastase blue bottle. It's the scalp specific potentially serum. And that just smells so sexy, so masculine. So that scalp serum is great for all hair types. Not only is it good for a dehydrated scalp, so if your scalp is feeling a little bit dry, it is also great for rebalancing oil production in the scalp. I have oily hair. My hair's more on the oily side and just from personal experience, 
I can go for like four days without washing my hair. Last time I washed my hair was on Sunday. Wow. It's Wednesday. And it doesn't look gross. No, it looks really yeah. good. So that was all. I hope you learned something new. If there are any hair care mistakes you think people make that we don't know about, please let us know below. Or we'll see you next time on Adele Beauty's YouTube channel. Yay! More videos over here?